Hello, my friends. Today, I want to talk to you about just how my art style and journey has been going and what resources I've been finding inspiration from. I've been really happy with how my art has been evolving and transforming and I kind of want to share some of the resources and inspiration that I found for myself. Before we begin, I wanted to say thank you so much to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring this video. I have the privilege to be a judge on Honkai Star Rail's art competition, Multiverse Vistas. Honkai Star Rail and Hoyoverse are hosting an art contest called the Multiverse Vista to feature all of the amazing artists within the Honkai Star Rail community. I will be judging in the visual art category for this contest but there are many different categories including cosplay and music creation this is going to be an annual creator competition the contest will feature some of the most talented creators there will be chances to get your work out to millions of fans as well as some rewards i am so excited to be part of this and to see your artwork but i want to tell you a little bit about the game the creators of genshin impact are coming out out with a new multi-platform space fantasy RPG. The game is available on both mobile and PC with game data being shared so you can play anytime on your devices and anywhere. Honkai Star Rail is free to play. It has beautiful cutscenes, artistic qualities. It's different from Genshin which is a fantasy world. The world of Honkai Star Rail is one of signs in space. Even though Honkai Star Rail is easy to pick up and understand, it's a term based game. It has a deep battle system that can be mastered and the end game and game modes allow you to keep honing your skills and to create teams to challenge your own limits. Honkai Star Rail is out now. Check the pinned comment in the link in my description to download the game and try it out yourself and there is a promo code for 50 Stellar Jades. Thank you so much to Honkai for sponsoring this video and I'm so excited to be a judge to see all of your creations for Multiverse Vistas. And now back to the video. There are a couple of resources I want to mention for you and the first is Unsplash. If you've never heard of Unsplash, it's a resource that I've been using a lot and it's where I got the reference image for this painting. Unsplash is a copyright free website where you can find reference images for your creative projects such as graphic design projects or even as I am doing references for your paintings. It's always great to find high quality references without worrying about a copyright and I also personally as a creator and YouTuber feel more confident showing and using my reference images and videos. Not all of my paintings rely on references and this is not a subtle flex <laughs> but more like a warning that my anatomy might be off and some of the artwork that I create because I don't use references. In this painting, the reference helped me with the pose, hair, the lighting, and the clothing folds. I've noticed that there is an Unsplash Plus now where you can pay to access more images, which I think is super cool because while this is a free to use website, it is nice that you can have even more high quality images if you want to pay, but this does not mean you don't have access to all of the images that were already available to begin with. Next up, I wanna talk a little bit about my style. I have noticed that as I get older, my style matures. It's interesting that my subject matter seems to age as I also do, but I've been finding that I've been liking to draw features a little bit more realistically than I used to. I've also been loving drawing smaller eyes with much simpler, darker line work. And in particular, in my pencil sketches, I often don't add the bright highlights to the eyes that I used to. I kind of just draw them in a simple shaded way. I used to draw eyes with lots of bright colors and many highlights, a ton of lashes, but recently I've kind of just liked the more simple look. I don't know why. In the same vein, I've also been drawing more matte lips and using glows much more deliberately than before. I used to use highlights and glows and really like slick, dewy, glossy accents very heavily. I don't know how my style will evolve from here and I still love my style from two years ago but these are the things that have made me so happy with my artwork recently. I've just been really enjoying matte textures. I've also been focusing on light. I've always done so but I think I've been getting much better at the colors that come with incorporate interesting lighting in my 
paintings, so I'm better at linking colors with light, saturation, and the way that there's different hues to shadows and to the brighter, warmer highlight tones in my paintings. In this piece, my focus was not on the cool contrast of the shadow of the face, more so I wanted the whole painting to be really warm and almost like a prairie fairy. So in this painting, I just really focused on using a bunch of warm, golden and orange hues in the hair and the skin to bring life to the piece. But something that I've really been loving working with is light. The third way that I feel like my art style and subject matter has changed a bit is that I've been focusing on happier themes as well as fairy tale inspired work. I've always loved fairy tales, but this is more in a princess way instead of a brother's grim way. I think that as my mental health changes and I get more comfortable with my own identity, I'm expressing my femininity and the strength in happier ways. I think there's a lot of power in the way I used to express my mental health in the past, especially with a lot of negativity in my life, but I do think that it's wonderful that I don't have that same negativity that needs to be expressed, and I've really been loving brighter, fun themes in my work. I definitely think that I will still be drawn to dark themes in the future. The media that I consume is oftentimes very dark anyway, but I am so excited with this new direction, and I feel like in general my whole body of work is starting to lean into cottage and fairy tale versus being all over the place in the type of artwork that I create. Obviously this is not a hard and steadfast rule. The whole point of this video is how amazing it is that my art style can change and evolve and grow. So I'm excited to see where it goes in the future, but in, at the moment I've just been really loving this direction that my art has been taking. I also just purchased a bunch of the fairy books that I had when I was little. It's fun because I wasn't allowed to watch much of anything that had magic in it, but I also was allowed to consume some fairy content. I've purchased a bunch of fairy books that I had when I was little and I can show my haul in a reel if you're interested. I'm so excited. I definitely think they're going to inspire me a lot in my own art creation. I don't often indulge in a bunch of books that are resources for my own artwork or even art supplies recently, and the simple fact of the matter is because I have enough resources and enough art supplies to get through already. I do get a little bit claustrophobic when I have too many items around me, too many things to use, and I am definitely not a hoarder, but I always have to tiptoe the line of hoarding and decluttering. I will go through very extreme phases for both. I will totally declutter everything in my home, and then I also have kind of a pack wrap mentality of being able to use every little pretty scrap that comes in packaging or pieces of paper that I could use in the future. So I don't really buy myself a lot of supplies and resources for my artwork specifically. And my next point is that I've been taking inspiration from my own resources instead of constantly purchasing new supplies. To note is I do have a shopping problem. I online shop as a stress reliever and also as a lover of beautiful things and I'm getting much better at appreciating what I do own and valuing and using it. So when it comes to art creation, one way that my style has changed and my workflow has changed is that I've been honing on pencil sketching and digital painting to become better at these two specifically. Instead of switching my medium for every single piece the way that I used to, I'm exploring new subject matter specifically. So I used to draw very standard portraits in different media and and I would switch between my medium very often, but now I am exploring new subject matter. I'm drawing a lot more animals and inanimate objects and focusing on the techniques that will make those illustrations better. So I haven't incorporated many of these elements into my Clip Studio Paint paintings, but you can see the variety of subject matter much better in my pencil sketches or even my Procreate drawings. If you watch any of my videos here on YouTube about my pencil sketching process, or even go to my Instagram 
Instagram or TikTok, you will see a lot of my pencil and procreate illustrations. And I'm very proud of being able to diversify my subject matter because that's something that I've wanted to do for a while. Speaking of Instagram, the last place that I have been finding specifically inspiration is on Instagram. I've been following a lot of home and fashion accounts and not related to Instagram, I've been finding inspiration from video games. Being able to see other creators' creative decisions when it comes to how they decorate their home or how they put together an outfit has helped me see colors and shapes in a new light. I know this sounds funny or maybe obvious, but I'm becoming more obsessed with different colors because of people's home decor choices or even their outfits. So the colors red and blue I've been so obsessed with and I'm even changing my mind on some colors like cyan, which has been my least favorite color in the world. Even in this painting that I've created today, there's a little bit of teal, which I never thought I would purposefully add to a painting. I've just been thinking about the colors that I don't enjoy and wanted to make a video on a painting with my least favorite color, which is cyan, and I think I will do this. I can totally make a separate video on <laughs> the games that I've been enjoying playing, but I've realized how the color palettes in a lot of these games has influenced the way that I can perceive colors now. It's always fun to discover new ways to view color, and it's something that I'm so excited to intake and absorb more of, especially when it comes to color combinations like Recently, I've just discovered the color combination of cyan with creamy tones, oranges, and warm reds. That's such a great color palette, and I've never considered it before. But here I am, excited to figure out if I'm going to implement it in my own artwork, or to even just think about how maybe the reason I don't like a color is because I haven't seen it in the right combination with something else. That is so exciting for me. Lastly, I just want to give a shout out to my process being so streamlined because of my painting program in Tablet. Clip Studio Paint is 100% the best painting program that I've used and I'm so glad that I gave it a try because I was in such a rut with my digital paintings before I switched to Clip Studio Paint. My tablet, which I've talked about, I can link a video to, which is the Huion WH1409 version 2 tablet, is my very favorite tablet in the world. It's old at this point, but it's trusty and perfect for my needs and I will be so sad when I have to retire this tablet. If you have a PC instead of a Mac, I think Krita still works well and is optimized for PC and it's free. It's what I used to use before I switched to the Creative Cloud, before I switched to Clip Studio Paint. So I totally recommend Clip Studio Paint for PC or Mac, but if you're looking for a free version and you have a PC, Krita is still a great resource for you. I hope this was a fun video for you and maybe inspiring for your own self. I love talking about the things that keeping me inspired and keeping me motivated because that's something I really lack. I've just started going to counseling again for the first time since senior year of college and one of my goals among many, you know, is being motivated with my work again because that's something that I struggle with. So we'll see how that goes. I'll update you if anything serious or groundbreaking happens during therapy, but I am so excited to be going back and to be bettering myself. So excited that I can, you know, be in a place where I have some insurance to cover it finally and I can afford the copay. It's very exciting for me. So wish me luck on my therapy journey. And if you are also in therapy, high five and I wish you luck. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you so much to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring this video. Check out the links in my description if you want to download the game. Until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.